race to the chase is on. Just seven races left to figure out who's going to make it in the postseason in NASCAR. We've identified five guys on the bubble. Randy and Matt will debate in a segment we like to call He's In, He's Out. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. All right, we start with Carl Edwards. He's currently 11th in the standings with a big old goose egg, zero wins. Guys, can he get it done? Randy, he is out. I think where they are on points, no wins. The fact that they have a new crew chief in Chad Norris helps them a little bit, but not enough. I think they're a good team, not a great team. They've got to win. I don't think they get in. Seven races to go. The prior seven races, I did his numbers. He's got the second lowest average. He's out. Randy bringing the numbers, not going to make it. Still some numbers left on the clock to debate. It continues now with Kyle Busch. He holds the second wild card spot. Currently, one win on the year. Can Rowdy get it done? Second worst number. He's got the worst numbers out of everybody. He's out. Seriously, are you going to say a guy sitting where he is in points with a win that he's not going to make it? How can you bet against Rowdy? I like the fact that they have their backs up against the wall year after year. We've got him pegged as number one. I want them to barely make it in so they're hungry for the chase. He's in. Worst numbers. From Rowdy to the Rocket Man, time to discuss Ryan Newman. Tony Stewart, our defending champions teammate, right now 14th in the Spring Cup point standings and one win on his resume. Is he in or is he out? I'm taking this one first. He is in. Just spoke with Tony Gibson today. And I think what's going on is they are building cars for the Brickyard. Look for them to have a good run at the Brickyard. I like the fact the association with Tony going through this stretch of seven races. I say Ryan Newman is in. Gone. Third worst numbers. Can't do it. Is that your only argument? Just Randy's the a facts and figures game. guy. But this is, at the end of the day, it's a numbers game. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he st he sticks to the facts, That's but right. sometimes numbers don't tell the as whole in, story. As in crunching the numbers don't always tell the story. There is momentum to consider as well. A guy who may not have had as much of it, Joey Logano, on the hot seat at JGR, wondering what his future will be. He has one win already this season. Coming at Pocono, he's 16th in the standings. Guys, we know two wins is what you have to get done. Can Joey do it? Is he in? In or is he out? He's in. He's got the second best number. He's going to go back to Pocono. He's going to win it. We see guys Randy, always go Randy, back. Randy, he's Randy, in. Randy, just because he's from Connecticut, oh, okay. you don't have to say that he's <laughs> in. So he's going to win Pocono. Two wins. No, he's not going to win Pocono, and he's not going to make the chase, not because he's not a good kid, not because they're not a great race team. I just think there are other people. You have Casey Kane sitting with two wins. There's one slot. Back to my other pick. Kyle Busch gets that slot and not Joey Logano. That may answer our last bubble guy, Jeff Gordon, a four-time Sprint Cup champion. Hard to imagine the postseason without Jeff in it, but currently the number's not looking so good. 17th in the standing, zero wins. Can Jeff really rattle off two wins in the last seven the way they've been running? Talking Jeff Gordon, have you seen what he did? What has he done his, his whole life? Yes, he's going to win. I think he's going to take some pressure off himself, just drive that race car like he can. Alan Gus and that whole race team, they are way too good. Have They're you going seen in. what he's done, not what the he did? The last seven I races he can averages win, eighth. But if you look at numbers to date, they have not run well. And I just think it's that kind of year, Randy, where you have the bad racing look. No right. doubt he can do it. I don't think he does it. Not in on Jeff Gordon. If Jeff Gordon has to win and win now, a track that he'd like to see on the Sprint Cup schedule coming up this weekend Absolutely. is... The Brickyard. I mean, he is good. Won the inaugural there. Won another race there. He is good at Indy. The heat is on. These bubble guys have to kiss the bricks moving forward seven races before the playoffs start. Randy and Matt, thanks so much. And I think you're in as well, Danielle. I'm always in.